Hey guys, uh, this is just Nora in the future. Just wanting to say thank y'all so much for what happened uh, in the last video. You guys absolutely destroyed it. You guys went to Valkyrie if you subscribed to them. You got onto a thousand. I think you guys passed a thousand subscribers. You did absolutely insane. They went ahead, got back to me. They're gonna send us out a Valtronic for this. It's all because of you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, there's no way I could have gotten that exhaust system for this car. So thank y'all so much. And yeah, I, I, I am forever grateful. Let's just uh, jump into the 435 video today. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video. And today we're at the shop, actually it's already all cleared up, mainly because, uh, yeah, your man got here before you guys, so sorry about that. Anywho, got the 650i outside, got the pretty much the X5 out. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up Jonathan's car and just move it slightly over there, so it should be a whole lot easier getting to the lift. But yeah, you guys saw from the title of this video, it's time to push the 435 to its max potential, at least on stock turbos, and then once we blow these, you know, we're just, we're just gonna have to upgrade them. So enough flip blab, let me go ahead and get the 435 in here, and start showing you guys everything that I have so far for this build. Alright, now that we have the car all posted, looking good and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the mods, throw it out in front of the car, so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. And just like that, guys, after a few, like, I don't even know, 30 minutes, you guys, you see, I kind of went ham. I think this is, like, probably a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff that I got for the 435. I just decided, you know what, I, I've never pushed a car in insane power gains before. I went out of my comfort zone in the last video and actually straight piped the 650i. I've never actually done anything like that before in my life. And it's actually stuff I kind of want to do in this channel. I don't want to just rebuild, you know, and restore BMWs. I kind of also want to modify them to, to its extent. But obviously, I don't want to blow up anything because that defies the whole safe BMW thing so I decided for the 435 I want to go ahead and do all the maintenance knock that out and then just go full throttle on performance and then go stage three hopefully is the goal only thing I'm missing here is the fuel pump it's the only thing I'm missing to actually I believe to go stage three I need to do a little bit more research on that but my goal is to push 400 horsepower on this thing by the time all these mods are installed if you guys don't know currently the car has a charge pipe an intake an intercooler and in terms of boltons I think that's about it I do have a boost pipe which is actually right here so I'm gonna add that to the thumbnail as well but yeah guys I'm super stoked I hope you guys are super stoked as well we have so many things here to modify the 435. I have such high goals for this car. As soon as we're pushing 400, I actually do want to upgrade the turbos and push something upwards of 600, but just one step at a time. I'm not trying to skip a whole bunch of levels. I want to make sure all the main is done. I want to make sure we have all the bolt-ons, and I want to make sure this car survives through all this power. I don't want to ruin it. It is currently my daily, so I want it to kind of stay that way. I love the car to death. That all being said, if you guys look at it right here, we do have a transmission pan with transmission bolts, so I do want to replace that, get the maintenance out of the way. I want to flash my transmission to basically shift basically like a DCT so if I wanted to do that and shift a lot quicker I do want to make sure my fluids and I have a new pan and a new gasket to handle all that we do have a new oil filter so we don't leak from our oil filter this is from burger tuning I think it's called their billet oil filter I have links to all these down below this is also burger tuning's differential support so basically obviously pushing all that power to the rear wheels I want to make sure my diff or anything doesn't get all messed up so this is a diff support this is something I didn't think I'll ever need but I do want to make sure I take care of this car so I did go ahead and get that from burger tuning all the bolts for it. This is actually a front GoPro mount that actually bolts right there. It's pretty cool. It's from Burger Tuning as well. And this, I, I ordered this so I can capture the footage of when this car is pushing insane power gains. I want to be able to capture the footage from the front end of the car. So I think that's a pretty nice touch. I just went ahead and ordered it while I was in, while I was there. Coming around to over here, this is what everybody's been waiting for: a VRSF catted downpipe, not catalyst. So I'm not going to be shooting flames, but I am going to be basically like, an, it's going to sound like an AK-47. It's going to sound absolutely insane, but it's also going to take some of that smell away that catalyst downpipes tend to create. So I don't want to go full catalyst. This has, I think, only 200, 200 cc's compared to an 800 cc regular cat. So, so this is basically not much restriction, but at least blocks off most of the smell. Coming down here, I also have a boost pipe. It's the last bolt-on that I don't have on the car. So I went ahead and got that. This is from Keys Motorsports. It's just an air conditioning filter. I just felt like I should get it while 
files on the Keys Motorsports website. So, you know, we need to get, we're doing all the maintenance right now. My oil filter housing gasket, as you guys know, was leaking. So I went ahead and in order, just pretty much upgraded oil filter housing and the oil filter housing gasket. This actually helps cool the oil, I think by 10 or 15% more, which is super cool. So again, see so yeah, guys, like, I'm trying to make sure with the big intercooler and this that again, my temperatures are good. My engine is not going to overheat and it's not going to blow up or anything. Obviously pushing insane power gains. We did go ahead and I ordered this from Keys Motorsports. Yes, they do offer maintenance things as well. Pretty much a new serpentine belt, new serpentine pulley, and new serpentine tensioner. Got all that from Keys Motorsports. Even comes with the bolts and everything. This is OEM BMW parts. That's super awesome. Again, links to all this down below. This is also from Keys. This is from Keys. And this is from Keys, FYI. This is from Burger Tuning. I went ahead and got 15 millimeter spacers for the front. So I don't know if you guys can see a small little gap. These wheels, when aired out, are rubbing against the bag. So I don't want to have any issues when my bag blows out while I'm driving. Obviously, when I'm pushing 400 horsepower, I don't want to have a bag blow out. That would be absolutely insane. So, went ahead and just got some of these as well. I went ahead and also got an AC belt. Again, just doing all the maintenance, just, just getting everything done. You guys know that I broke my mirror, so I went ahead and placed an order. $150 later, Ripperino, but uh, I got a mirror. I also got these M Performance badges. Basically, the ones that came on this fender said something to do with like M4. I'm not putting M4 ones. M Performance was the only other ones I found on eBay, and I just want to fill this in. I don't like it, so I guess it's better than nothing, and uh, at least it doesn't say M4, which is pretty nice. For those of you guys who are kind of like me, not just about power, but also about sound, this is a blow-up bob that bolts directly to the turbo, so this is going to make the turbo will have an insane sound that not even the intake can match. Like the intake makes a sound. This should make a, like a, I'm gonna sound super weird. Like that, like a uh, so, so something like that. I don't know, I, I sound really stupid trying to mimic that sound. Anywho, but I do have a blow up valve. I went ahead and picked this up from Keys Motorsports as well. This is actually Keys Motorsports' most recommended blow up valve. So went ahead and got that. Coming around, I also wanna make sure in terms of stability, we are good. So I went ahead and got a strut bar from Keys Motorsports. This is an aluminum, very lightweight. I remember I got one of these for my 335 and it actually makes a big difference. I went ahead and got one of those and then obviously got, got brand new transmission fluids and I also got diff fluids because again, I'm not trying to blow my diff, not trying to blow my transmission. This car just had an oil change about a thousand miles ago so I'm not too worried about the oil. But like I said, we're gonna be upgrading the oil filter housing. This is again from Keys Motorsports. So yeah, a lot of things guys, a lot of things. I honestly cannot believe I ordered all this. this is like, that put a huge dent in my wallet. A lot of this stuff, thankfully, is sponsored, but a lot of this stuff wasn't. So, all the things from FCP Euro, VRSF, some things here and there from eBay. Obviously, it cost me out of pocket. I still, I still spent over a grand myself, and I got the rest of these. But I just do want to say shout out to my sponsors, like Keys Motorsports and Burger Tuning, for making this happen. Because, again, pushing those type of power numbers without actually doing maintenance or getting the right support will mess up your engine, transmission, differential, a whole bunch of things. So, you do want to make sure you're playing it safe. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and take a sick thumbnail, obviously because I want this to, you know, come out on the thumbnail. And then we're gonna go ahead and start getting into some of the mods, some of the maintenance. I think it's gonna be separated into a couple videos, mainly because there's a lot of things here. But in no time, this is gonna be tuned to stage two and hopefully stage three. All right, without further ado, it's enough talking, North. Let's get right into it. So first things first, I just need to fix that. That needs to get fixed. So this is the before, and just like that. Um, actually, it looks really good. I actually really dig it, what the heck? That actually looks really good, damn. All right, cool, cool. It says M Sport on the sides, but this actually, I'm actually really shocked. This actually looks really good, what the heck? It matches that M stripe and it matches the interior door seal, so that actually looks really good. I actually messed with that. Let's go ahead and add the other side. And just like that, guys, all righty. For this next one, I'm gonna have to actually move up the car a little bit, so one second. Guys, what the heck, that actually looks so good. What the heck? All right, all right, anywho. Uh, time to pop up this cracked one and go ahead and place in the new one. And check that out, guys. Finally. All right, next on this to-do list, um, let's go ahead and do something I'm not really trying to do. Next on this to-do list is a much needed maintenance, and it's actually a mod at the same time, so get it done. So I don't know if you guys can see, it's leaking oil right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this oil filter housing and completely replace it. I don't even want it anymore. So I gotta go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the intake, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to remove this oil filter housing and replace it with the new one. So let's just go ahead and remove all this, and uh, we'll get to that in a second. I just realized this lip is really getting in the way for me actually reaching over. It is what it is. ready to get pulled out now, so that. 
Oh God, what was that? Was I supposed to have drained the coolant? Shit. All right guys, um, so that was a huge oopsie. I don't know if I was supposed to have drained the coolant, but I literally gushed out of everywhere. Uh, so my mistake, uh, that is a very rookie. I have no idea. I didn't really think coolant will actually leak out of here like that. Anywho, that's probably why there's a lot of pressure trying to take that piece off. Live and you learn, you know? So it's not a big deal. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this as well. Take out the filter. All right guys, so this is the original oil filter housing. Uh, it's pretty much that's all removed. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this just for, you know, I mean, just for the heck of it. I mean, it is the original parts of the car, so I don't wanna just throw it out or anything like that. The gasket actually doesn't seem to be in terrible shape. I don't know why mine's was leaking, but anyhow, we're just gonna get this done. And then as for this, we are gonna move the gaskets and move it onto the new oil filter cap, mainly because, uh, yeah, we got a bullet stone one from Burger Motorsports. And then we do have a new oil filter housing from Keys Motorsports. So if you guys need an oil filter housing, check out Keys Motorsports as the performance one. And if you guys are trying to get a more, a more sturdy oil filter cap that won't leak oil, make sure you check out Burger Tuning, both linked down below. So if you guys check out Muscle Man from Keys Motorsports, they're the ones that have this cooler. And uh, basically it comes with the gasket and then obviously it comes with the cooler. It even comes with the, with the actual bolt that goes from the top so you don't actually have to reuse it. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So pretty easy self-explanatory kit. The oil lines plug in from the bottom and then uh, it looks like it comes with two other small gaskets. I gotta figure out where those go, but make sure you use everything that comes in this kit. I guess now we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and install the new filter. You guys, check out the machining on this thing. Oh my God. All right, let's go ahead and install it. And just like that, guys, one oil spill later and all this is upgraded. This looks so good. <laughs> I can't wait for this strut bar and I want to do a couple other engine upgrades and probably upgrade injectors. This engine bay is going to look really good hopefully and at the same time definitely serving its purpose. This will prevent it from leaking. This will help with cooling. This is going to be super dope. Crazy. This is already hot. That's crazy. But yeah guys so I'm going to go ahead and clean out all this hopefully before I put it all back together. I'm going to have to head down to Walmart and get some uh, shop rags so I have to clean up this entire mess and at the same time clean up this whole area to make sure there's no more le oil leaking because obviously you don't want to leak oil. That's bad. That's obviously bad. And if so if you guys like these products, make sure you check out Burger Tuning, link down below. And this is from Keys Motorsports, link down below as well. Next up on the list, I want to go ahead and replace the serpentine belt, new pulleys, new bolts, new tensioner. Uh, just because I don't know how many miles has been on this one, and I just want to do this as preventative maintenance. N54s are notorious like this one for snapping the belt as it's driving. And if it actually gets sucked into the pulley, it's a nightmare. I don't know how, I, it could be something simple for Jonathan, but it could also be worst case and it needs a bottom end rebuild. So obviously I'm not trying to deal with that. So we're going to go ahead and just replace everything here. Also, this is all dry in oil because of previously and of today so uh, let's go ahead and just replace all this with brand new stuff and new belt no oil any residues on this new belt Guys, so looking at what we took out, we took out the belt, we took out the tensioner, and we also took out the pulley. This pulley honestly doesn't look too bad. I actually feel like this has been replaced. That doesn't look like it's been replaced in forever. This belt looks like it probably could have been replaced within like 30,000 miles. Uh, but then again, it wasn't me, so I didn't know. So I figured I'm gonna do all the maintenance myself so I could set the date of today and do this all again, hopefully the next 30,000 miles. I say hopefully because I really hope this car makes it. <laughs> all right, let's get back to work and install the new pulleys and everything. much got that pulley in there now and that tensioner in so the tensioner I haven't pulled this thing out yet don't pull it out until you actually get the belt on there it makes life a whole lot easier I made that mistake on the 650i and it was a pain so that being said this needs to be uh, torqued down to 38 newton meters and this needs to be torqued down to 60 newton meters so just FYI if you guys are doing your maintenance uh, just some tips 60 which is a lot more than this um, this one I think I actually torqued it 45 which is actually really luckily I didn't snap it so I was looking at foot pounds instead of newton meters for that one but thankfully it's good so I'm just gonna leave it as it is new belt 
new pulley, new tensioner, new cooler, new oil filter housing. This is looking insane. I love seeing all this maintenance get done. It's so satisfying. Let's go ahead and put on the MST intake as well. And then go ahead and start buttoning this up. And hopefully I put on the belt. I believe it is perfect. Um, but obviously when you start it up, it's gonna guide it into place where it comes to worse. So let's go ahead and throw on that intake and we should be good to go. Um, as for now, uh, we do have to get the car up because you have to put in a 15 millimeter spacer. The wheels are for some reason rubbing against the bag. So um, let's just go ahead and jack it up, remove the wheel and figure that out. And then hopefully we can still air out because that would suck. We might have to roll the fenders. I don't know, we're about to find out. Guys, so I pretty much got the spacer on you. These are from Burger Tuning, so uh, actually came out pretty good. So I was worried that 15 millimeters would be a little bit too much, but when I air out, it actually, it, it touches. So I do need to roll the fender, but other than that, fitment's on point. So uh, go ahead and do the other side real quick. Yes, and see, but the wheel is flat on this side, and now the wheel is more cambered in on this side. When I air out, I kind of want the wheel to tuck instead of be right on the side. So I went ahead and adjusted those camber plates. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the coils on this side as well. Two hours later. Guys, there's no way that's some coincidence. I'm driving home right now. Do you guys see my temperatures are literally only a quarter? Normally it's like a third, and now it's only a quarter. That is insane. I think it's a combination of the oil cooler, I believe it's the oil cooler, and the intercooler that's making the temperature so low. That is solid. So yeah, guys, that's what I was aiming for. Um, basically, just trying to keep my levels low. This is looking really good. Cannot wait to push some major power on this car. I've been cruising at 80 the entire highway. It's been about 30 minutes and my temperatures are super low so super high for this that means we're gonna get all these power gains i know my engines at least being cooled down properly make sure to smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content and anyways you guys get to vote do you guys want to see a 650i video next or do you guys want to see a 435 video next so there's gonna be a poll up there go ahead and go to the poll vote 650i or 435 regardless we're going to be doing both contents but at least for the next video it's your guys' pick go ahead and choose without further ado y'all i love y'all so much i'm gonna go ahead and drive safe without holding this camera so i love y'all so much Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.